Hello aliens, this is Nobin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about alert dialog alert dialog. So what we are what we want to do in this example is we have a app here which has uh, which is a banking application or uh, maybe uh, any banking application. So in this we are providing name, account number and balance. So if I click on this show button it will show the name of the person. If I click on show the second show button it will show the account number and if I click on the third show it will print the balance. So if I click on this show it says Navin. If I click on this show it says the account number and if I click on this show uh, the, 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 my balance should not be open in the public, right? So, uh, if, you know, uh, by mistake, if I click on this button, it will show my balance, right? So, what I want, if I click on this button, it should, pro, it should uh, show me the alert, show you want to show the balance. And if I click on OK, then only it should show the message, right? So, and you can see if I click outside, uh, the dialog box vanishes. So we'll do that, we'll, we'll try to cover that point also. And if I click on this cancel, it still also it vanishes. And if I click on this OK button, it shows my balance. So this is what we want to do. So before that, we have to understand how alert dialog works. And we want one more thing here. If I click on this black back button, uh, it, should sh it should show that you really want to exit. And if I click on this OK button, it will exit, otherwise it will not. Okay, and you can see if I clicking outside also, it is not... Uh, not getting close, right? So we'll see how to do that. And if I click on this OK button, the app will close. So this is what we want from this example. Now how to do that? Uh, so I have already created a design uh, so that we can save the time. So I have created this design by providing linear layout. So I have dragged everything on the screen. So we have a text view, text view, text view. So we have these three text views here. These are your text views. And then we have three buttons. And the name of these text views are so we have txt name, we have txt account number, and then we have txt balance. So that's your three text field. And then we have three buttons. The first button name is uh, btn name, then we have btn account, and then we have btn balance, right? Now once we got these three things, let's go back to the uh, Java file. So we have we have created this three text field, we have created this three buttons so that, I can, uh, so that your time will be saved. I don't want to waste your time, so that I have already created that for you. Now then, the first thing we'll do is we'll try to show the name uh, balance. So if I run this code now, because uh, what I have already in the emulator was the earlier code. So I have already created the application. I have run the application for you. Now I have, I have removed all the coding. So we are running it once again. And so this is this 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 app will be like a blank app. Uh, with, it, it will not work. So even if I click on show button, it will not work because I have not provided the feature, right? So that, uh, so if I click on back, it is not, not asking for exit. So that code, I have removed that code now. So let me just try it out. So let's uh, add some actions. So we'll say btn name dot set on click listener. That's how you provide the listener, right? So we'll say new on click listener. Uh, in this, what we'll do is we'll provide something called uh, so we'll say txt name dot set text. So as soon as I click on this button, it should print Navin. Then if I say btn uh, btn account, and if I say set on click listener, it says new on click. Uh, it will print uh, txt what this is for account number, right? So let's say my account number. Even I forgot what account number I mentioned that. So I will say this is. Uh, SBI that's my bank name so let's say this is SBI 400 that's my account number and we'll say btn dot or btn what uh, it was what it was name was balance right so it is it was btn balance we'll say dot set on click listener we'll say new on click listener here we'll say uh, txt balance dot set text and we'll show 500. So let's say, that, let's say yeah, five. Let's say 5,000. So that's my bank balance, right? In fact, if I run this code, let's see, uh, will it? It's well, is it working? So that we can continue. So if I run this code, it will take some time to load. Okay. It's loading. It's loading. It's going on. Okay, here, here it is. If I click on this show button, it says Navin. If I click on this show, I got the account number. If I click on this button, it says 5,000. But hold on, I don't, I don't want to show the, uh, 
the balance right away, right? What we want, we want to show the alert. So how you how to use alert here? So for that, we have to use, uh, so to, to show the alert, we have to create alert dialog. We'll say this is alert and we'll say equal to. Now in order to create object of alert, uh, basically alert object creation follows a builder pattern. Okay, so it's a Java concept. You should know about builder pattern first to work to understand how exactly it works. Even if you don't know how builder pattern works, or if you know the basic concept of Java, you will understand what I'm doing. But to understand it thoroughly, you should know the builder design pattern. So that's builder design pattern in Java. Uh, so just search for builder design pattern in Java by Telusco, so that's my channel name. So I have already created a video on that. Uh, just watch that video, just pause this video, go back to the builder pattern, uh, understand how it works so that you will get the exact point what I'm doing here. Okay, so yeah, so let's let's say after that, if you're continuing with the example, so in order to create builder pattern, what we'll do is so before doing this, let's create object of alert. So let's understand how builder pattern works here. So builder is, uh, so in Android dialog, or sorry, in alert dialog, we have a builder as an inner class. So we need to first create object of builder. So we'll say this is alert dialog dot builder. And in this, you have to mention for which file you're working with. So we are working with uh, the main activity. So this main activity dot this. Okay, now once we got the object of builder, Oh, I forgot to mention builder here, so that's builder. So we have to first create object of builder and to this builder we have to add something. So first thing you have to set the message. So we'll set this, the first thing will be message. And the message I want to print here is, let's say, uh, are you sure? So that's the message I want to print. Okay, so that's the first thing. The next is, so with the same object, we have to provide again a dot. We'll set this dot will be for set. So we have two things. We have a positive button and then we'll be having a negative button. In the positive button, you have to show uh, the first thing we have to show the text. And the second thing you have to show the listener. So once you click on the listener, what should happen? So for that, you have to say new dialog. It's dialog interface. So we have to say dialog interface. Is, is it there? Okay, so we got dialog interface. So as soon as I click on this dialog interface, it has an on click listener. So once I click on this button, okay, what we should do is we should show the balance, right? So this balance, you should be, sh you should be showing here. So that's the positive message. But let's say if you're not providing a mass positive message, you're clicking on the, you're clicking on not positive, but this time you're clicking on negative. So in this, in this scenario, if you're clicking on the negative button, what it should do is it should show the text as cancel dot or comma uh, once you click on this oh I provided the wrong bracket there so once you click on cancel what it should do is in fact nothing we can provide no it should not do anything okay okay so we have once we have said these two things what we can do here is we can say builder dot create so that's how you create a alert box and then we can say alert dot show I think it will work now. So we have created the alert dialog, alert dialog, and then we have to create a builder. And using that builder, you have to create a, you have to call a method which is create. Now let's see, it, is it working? If I run this code, it's going on. It will take some time. We got our app here. If I click on this show, it's working. It's working. And if I click on this show button, it says, okay, we got a alert dialog which is, are you sure? If I click on OK, we got the balance, right? Okay, but if I again click on, what happens if I click on cancel? Okay, so it's canceling. Let me just let me just reopen this app. Okay, let's see how it will work. So let me just reopen the app here. Okay, so if I click on this show button, if I click on cancel, so it's working, right? So it's not a, we are not able to see the balance, right? So that's that's how you use alert here. But we also we also want alert when you press back, right? So what we'll do is we'll try to, uh, so for what, what we have to do for back. Uh, yeah, so whenever you, whenever you want to work with a back button, so we have to override a method which is on back 
press right so this is this is the method we have to use so this is on back pressed now in this uh, we have to write at override so that we can match because we are overriding the method right okay so it's on back uh, so we the steps are so whenever you want alert so you have to say alert dialog builder uh, new alert dialog builder because we are before creating the alert object we have to create builder object and then we can say builder dot create and then we can say show right and here you have to so what we can do is we can directly create an object we can say provide new and say we'll say alert dialog and then uh, so we can create a named object or we can also create anonymous object right so even that that is possible so okay let me create a named object itself so we'll say this is okay first let's start with the alert itself so we'll say alert dialog dot builder okay and then we'll say this is builder equal to in fact we can just copy paste, copy paste this code right so why not let me just copy paste this code here okay and in fact this is called as code reuse right we never say it is copy paste we always say this is code reuse okay so uh, there are certain things we need to set here not exactly the same thing but different things because we are showing a different uh, we also want the uh, what do you say the the title so we'll say set title we want a title as let's say really exit okay and then we want a negative button that's done we got the positive button but once you click on the positive button what should what it should do is it should finish the activity right so to finish the activity what we can do is we can say main activity dot super we can call the on that's on back that's what i'm doing it's on back press right so we have to call the on back press of the super class so it will exit otherwise it will not exit it will say simply null mm, i think that will work now so that's how we use alert and let's run this let's see if you are getting the output so let me run this go back to the output let me bring my new running is loading it will take some time to load and here it is and if i click on this sh uh, show button it's working i'm getting sh i'm getting all the values and if i click on this back button it says are you sure and if i say okay it's working right it's getting exit so that's how you use alert here and let's say if i don't want to close the, uh, the example if i run this activity once again let me just reopen the activity here okay, it will take okay so if i reopen the activity oh where's the activity it is is it i forgot which one it was if i click on this yeah so once i click on this activity and if i click on back and if i click anywhere outside the alert you, you can see it is automatically getting closed right i don't want that so we can set one more property here anywhere because it's a builder pattern so we can say dot set cancelable we can say false and if you set it as a cancelable false and if i run this code now once again uh, it will take some time to load the new one okay let me just pause the video by the time okay what about new app if i click on back you can see if i clicking outside it is not getting closed right so we have to set on cancelable false to do that okay so that's how you that's how your alert dialog works so thank you so, so much for watching if you have any doubts just comment in the comment section and that's it do subscribe